Assalamu alaikum and good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Chu and Dr. Vivek for inviting me to say a few words this morning. I was really hoping to meet all of you in person, but unfortunately I needed to do some work travel at the last minute. I think it's fantastic that you're having this diverse career summit. Uh, as a medical doctor myself, I know how it is uh, to be in the situation that doctors are facing right now. It has changed so much uh, the way the medical profession has evolve in a way in terms of public service. Um, you know, what was a given in those days is a bit more difficult right now. But let me share with you, you know, my own perspectives as a medical doctor and obstetrician and gynecologist who really is now not doing obstetrics and gynecology. I think medical education teaches us a lot, not just the science of medicine, but also understanding you know, the real situation of human, human beings, developing empathy, having a greater uh, understanding of you know, the needs of people. And you know, we are entrusted with so much private information. We are entrusted so much with building relationships with our patients uh, in our training. All that can be put to good use in many, many other ways. I myself decided to embark on a humanitarian career. I felt that, you know, my medical education was for a purpose and I really wanted to be working um, with people who had uh, been unfortunately placed in very difficult circumstances beyond their control. Um, as a humanitarian, I got to practice medicine, but I also learned about managing crises and managing um, diplomacy, learning about diplomacy, uh, and also venturing into the international uh, sort of circuit in terms of the humanitarian and development field, both in the health as well as uh, disaster management areas. I think that I wouldn't have been able to be where I am today if not for the medical training that I had, um, the ability to learn how to connect to people, the ability to think systematically as medical doctors are trained to do. So the world is your oyster. And I think that with that training, you know, do what makes your heart happy, what makes you wake up in the morning and you know, want to get out of bed and do something really great you know, for yourself, for humanity, for whatever your motivations might be. The medical profession has also changed a lot in the sense that, you know, the advent of technology, um, you know, artificial intelligence, all these new sciences that has made us, you know, rec has required us to really embrace a lot more uh, broader perspectives of knowledge. And I think that um, one of the things I will end, you know, this short message to all of you is to always remember that health determinants are not just in the medical care complex. It's not in a clinic setting or in hospital. Health determinants are very broad. You know, 55% of health is driven by environmental and social uh, conditions, whereas another 20% on behavioral uh, science. So I think that, you know, being able to think about your broader perspectives of uh, health and how you might be situated in this. I know I myself now I'm very excited leading the first ever you know Center for Planetary Health in Asia Pacific. It's exciting. It's also about our own existential crisis and how we might want to educate people about their role in you know either protecting the planet and therefore protecting health or continuing their bad behaviors and therefore putting everyone at risk. So explore all the opportunities ahead of you. If you're interested in planetary health, come and talk to us. But all I can say is it's a privilege to have your medical training. It's never about doing just one thing. Open your minds, do what you love, and you'll get there. You will find you know, what really makes your heart tick. And I wish all of you all the very best. And, you know, congratulations for putting together this summit. And I hope that we'll have a chance to cross paths in the near future. So all the very best, everyone. Thank you.